All right, so Bex Armory has a new set of build plans that are available. So let me give you a brief rundown of what these are and how it can help you. So is what I have is a multi-axis tracking and tension arm um, build plan. Um, and um, this isn't necessarily, you know, my idea. It's just my perfected version. Um, there's a lot of these floating around the internet. Um, I think there's a, I don't know, like a reading, reader, reading grinder from 2017 that's got one. Brian House has a variation of this. I've seen a bunch of other people have some variations. Um, so the idea is this is going to allow you to, you know, true up your alignment much faster um, if you're building a belt grinder. Now, um, I've been, you know, perfecting this for, I don't know, I, I lost track of how long. Um, but every time I build a belt grinder, you know, I put a version of this on it and um, I make little tweaks here and there. So at this point, I feel like I have it perfected. Um, and so I want to offer that to you because I don't have time to build these. Um, they do take a while um, to build. Now, the, the components are not expensive. Um, the material is not expensive, but it takes time way more time than I have. So I'm gonna give you guys the opportunity to take these build plans and build them for yourself, build them for your buddy, maybe make a couple, you know, and, and you know, make some cash on the side. Um, Cause I, I just, I can't work, you know, 40, 50 hours a week, come home and build tension tracking assemblies all night, every night. That's just, and if I did, they'd be so expensive, nobody would buy them. So, um, I'm just not looking to do that at this point. Um, I know there are some other companies out there that maybe um, might offer these in the future and you can just buy one from them. That's your prerogative. But if you are interested in a set of these build plans, stick around. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an animation showing how it goes together, then a little brief explanation on how to weld it up. And the link to Bex Armory will be in the description of this video and you can swing on over there and uh, download a set of drawings for yourself. All right, so when you go to weld this up, this is the process that I suggest that you do. So you go ahead and you mount this guy on your um, tension arm. You attach the rod end and you attach this. So the goal here is to have a little bit of gap on both sides of the shoulder bolt. And you can do that, you know, when you clamp this by kind of pushing it into position. See, I could push it one way or the other, but I'm going to try to keep it centered in the shoulder bolt in a perfect world i'd have even gap on this side and that guy, that side but if you don't have it you know perfect it's going to be okay now as far as the orientation of this it should fit really well but if it is a little bit loose um the goal is that this is parallel here and parallel there so like i said if you're off a degree it's not going to be the end of the world um, but I'm kind of particular, so I like my stuff, you know, perfect. But so that's, that's how I do that. I clamp this right here and you can use just a plain nut or you can use one of these custom do, do jobs here. Um, or, um, not really sure what that will be. Um, but I'm sure by now, you know, because it's in the plans. So now I'm going to tack this in position. I'm going to tack it here, here, and here. Or, if you don't want it visible, it'd be a little bit harder to get in here, but you can tack here, the underside, 
in there. Now that's going to be really hard to tack, so honestly, uh, I'm just going to make sure my welds look good, and I'm going to put it on the front. So I'm going to tack it that corner, that corner, and there. That's going to keep it from twisting and moving, then I'll weld it complete. When I go to weld it complete, well, I'm going to TIG it so I don't have to take all this stuff off. But if you're going to MIG it, take all that stuff off to prevent the splatter from getting the threads and all that stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about this project, leave me a message in the comment section below. I will read your comment and I will get back to you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with somebody that you know who may need a multi-axis tracking and tensioning arm for their 2x72 belt grinder or 2x48 for that reason. See you guys later.